happy people i'm back with another video and as promised i'm bringing you all some more affordable products from amazon so in case you all don't know i do every single tuesday post on my community tab new deals that i find on amazon so let's go ahead and hop into this gel polish kit so i actually picked up this kit from beetles i've actually had this kit in my collection for about a year or it might even be over a year now and i saw it go on sale on amazon for seven dollars and 19 cents you guys and when i saw that i had to post it because i I absolutely love this collection I've used it a few times and yeah this y'all know Beatles is made for me I absolutely love Beatles products the gel polishes are absolutely amazing but um, this was on sale and so I thought this would be a perfect time for me to bring it out swatch it and give you all a review on it and I also listed on my community tab last week this model one's base and top coat this was five dollars and some change and so I wanted to review these products and maybe create a quick look for you guys I'm gonna first start with my Beatles gel polish kit it so so this kit comes with six different gel polishes they're all kind of like I think it's called the pool party collection so they're all like summer themed colors and um, let me just pull everything out the box here I love how Beatles you know products come packaged you know the box design is really cute I have so many of their collections it's not even funny and so yeah I like that it's they're well protected I've never had any bottles come spilled or anything like that so let me go ahead and take all of these out the first color in this collection is eight seven and six. Oh yeah this is a really pretty hot pink color absolutely beautiful and definitely perfect for summertime 877 Ooh, okay this is a really pretty like subtle purple very pretty it almost leans a little bit pink too so a pinky purple color 878 and this is a really beautiful peachy color or you can call it maybe light orange if you want, but really pretty. I think I've used this color on my toes before and did like a glitter top coat with it. Really pretty. 879. And this is a neon yellow. This is very bright and vibrant. 880. And this is a really beautiful like soft blue, almost kind of like a mint blue color. Very, very pretty. 881, which looks like a really nice kind of royal blue color. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's a really nice blue, perfect blue actually. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors swatched out. And to do that, I am gonna go in with my Model Wands base and top coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and review these. I've actually not reviewed any products from Model Wands, so this will be my first experience with this brand. I do actually have a lot of Model Wands gel polishes. I was fortunate enough to win them in a giveaway, and so I will be doing a swatch video of all of those gel polishes too. Um, but for now, let's check out their base and top coat. So again, these are 15 ml bottles. Um, love the packaging. Um, so the top coat is gold, the base coat is silver, and yeah, really nice. Um, they're 15 ml, and so let's look at the consistency. So this is the base coat. Okay. So the base coat actually feels like it's a little bit of a thinner viscosity. So that's pretty cool. I don't know that I've worked with too many base coats that are like of a thinner viscosity. So I'll be excited to give that a try. And then the top coat, okay, again, 15 ml. Let's see what this one's looking like. Okay, this is more my speed. So this one is of a thicker viscosity. Yeah, very thick actually. Taking a long time to drop. Okay, so it just dropped now. So yeah, I like that a lot. I think I'm gonna enjoy this top coat. I'll be curious to see how it holds up to my Beatles top coat. This is actually like my all time favorite top coat. Um, and recently I just started using the Madam Glam No Wipe top coat. I'm, I'm liking that one as well, but this is always my holy grail. This is my go-to. So it'd be nice to compare these two and see how they hold up against each other. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my swatch stick with some of this base coat here. And then I'll be topping off all of my gel polishes after I get them swatched with the Model One's top coat as well. Let's see what this base coat is looking like. Okay, really nice and smooth, easy to go on. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60. So this is how the base coat clears, I mean cures, is very clear. It's very clear, no yellowing at all, which is really nice. Now I'm gonna go in with 876 from the collection. Oh yeah, y'all see that? If y'all have not tried Beatles products, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. They are absolutely amazing. This was one, Beatles is actually one of my first uh, gel polishes that I tried um, 
after like my Sally Hansen ones, which after I discovered Beatles, I realized wasn't even that great. Um, and I have never looked back since. So that's one coat of coverage from Beatles. Absolutely love these polishes. I've actually reviewed Beatles products quite a lot, especially when I first started reviewing nail products. And so I'm very familiar with their formula. It's really nice, it's really creamy, it's really opaque, it, very high quality for the price that you pay for these polishes. I've done sets with these where the polishes have lasted like up to three to four weeks so and that it, for a basic gel mani so these these polishes are really really great so if you all are wanting to get your hands on any of these polishes i do have everything that i use listed on my amazon storefront as well as down in the description box below so this is what the first color looks like after two coats of coverage now i want to go in with the model one's top coat and just see how that applies again this is my first time working with this top coat so I'm interested to see how I'm going to like it. Okay. I do like the formula of it. Okay. Easy to go on. It does have a weird smell to it though. Like a, kind of like a chemical smell. But nice application. I'll cure that for 60. Alrighty, so this is what all the colors are looking like swashed out. I'm going to give you all some an up close of all the colors, but the collection is really gorgeous. So again, this is 876, and it's a really pretty hot pink color, um, slightly neon pink, and that top coat from Model Ones looks really good. 877, which is a really pretty purple color. It's like a light purple. 878, which is a gorgeous peach color. 879, which is this really beautiful neon yellow. 880, which is this really beautiful mint green color. 881, which is this really beautiful perfect blue color. At first I thought it was royal blue, but it's not. It's just like a regular blue, but it's really gorgeous. I am going to try to go in with another Black History Month set. Because I have all of these beautiful colors, I do have some nail foils. Let me show you guys what I have. I do have a couple of different nail foils. And as you all can see, these are like some really beautiful kind of like spring time or very vibrant colored foils. So I think I might go in with those since it kind of matches this color scheme. This is even another one, you know. This one to even go good with this blue right here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pick out which foils I wanna use and then try to create maybe like some tribal uh, Black History Month nails. I decided what look I wanna go in with. These four colors here. These are the foils that I have decided to use. So I have already cut out all of the pieces of foils that I'm gonna use. I decided to go in with my medium square tips for this design. I, it's been a long time since I've used my medium square tips, so I wanted to pull them out and give them some love. When I'm doing my press on sets, the first thing I like to do is go through and file off that little tab at the end so I'm gonna go through and do that really quick next I'm gonna go in with the model ones top coat I am still testing this out and so yeah I'm gonna apply that to all the nails and you all know I like applying base coat to all the nails just to give the gel polish something to adhere to Now that the base coat has been applied, I am going to go on with two layers of the gel polish. As you all can see, the Beauty's gel polish is really opaque, nice and self-leveling. I am a huge, huge fan of Beatles. I really feel like Beatles polishes are kind of in a lane of their own because, I don't know, they're like really high quality for like such an affordable price and I can't say their formula really compares to like another brand. Yeah, I really, I really like their polishes a lot. So this is what the nails look like after two coats of gel polish. Now I'm gonna go in with my foils. I am gonna pull out my foil glue from Beatles. I have not used this in a very long time, so I'm excited to be giving it another shot. I did go in and practice on a nail and it works with the method that I discovered from my McCart foil glue. So you'll go ahead and apply the foil glue to the nail. And I'm gonna apply it to the entire nail. And after you apply it to the nail, you'll want to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. After it's been cured for 60 seconds, you'll let it cool for 30. So after that, you'll go ahead and take the piece of foil that you want to use. So for this particular design, I'm going to take this foil here. And then you'll just lay the foil on top of the nail how you want it to be. Ah, I already set it down. Jeez. I have to go with it now. Ugh, this was not centered in how I wanted it to be, but I already set it down. So... Here goes nothing you guys <laughs> so once you set it down you'll want to just rub it 
and then keep rubbing it and keep rubbing it until um, the foil starts to separate from the um, design or from the backing okay happy people so you'll definitely want to take your time just rubbing the foil into the nail and that foil glue and as you're rubbing you'll see the foil start to separate from the backing and also it's really important to make sure you take your time placing the foil exactly where you want it to be on the nail don't make the same mistake that i did by accidentally letting it touch but yeah this is how it looks so i'll go ahead and lift and look at that perfect transfer you guys love it there's like nothing left on the back of here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process for the rest of the nails. I do wish I had got this a little bit further down on the nail because I really didn't want this yellow piece at the tip. But you know, I had already set it down. So I'm going to keep on going. Again, you repeat that same process. So you'll go in with a thin layer of the foil glue. So cure for 60, cool for 30. Foil glue has cooled for 30 seconds. Now you just want to go ahead and take your time and place it, the foil on the nail where you want it to be. I think I want it to be right about here. Oh, I think I did it again, guys. Wow. Okay. So then what I'll do is I'll go through and just rub, 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 rub until I can't rub anymore. For those who are curious about how long you have to rub the foil into the nail, I did time this particular nail and it took me about a minute, well a little bit over a minute to um, get the foil to transfer perfectly. So it's definitely something where you want to take your time and just continue to rub it in. I'm going to go ahead and peel this foil back and again flawless transfer. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. Well actually this has like a little bit of space right here. I'm going to try to see if I can feel that in. So if you all ever have a piece of the foil that didn't transfer, you'll want to just try to line it back up properly and then rub it in and typically it'll transfer over. And if it doesn't, you can just go in with another layer of foil glue and then apply the foil to the uh, missing image. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next nail. And so yeah, you'll just repeat that same process on all the nails. Okay, happy people. So the secret to a perfect foil transfer is really the cure time and the cool time. I have tried out two foil glues up to this point which is the Beatles foil glue which I'm using now and then the McCart foil glue and I found when I cure for 60, cool for 30, I get a flawless transfer just like this. Wow absolutely love it so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process on the rest of the nails and while i'm doing that what do you guys think about my new background music yes i decided to change it up and get something more upbeat i want to give a huge shout out to the nail genie sc if you guys have not checked her out um you definitely should that is my beautiful nail sister she makes some wonderful and amazing content i am going to leave her youtube and her instagram link down below but yeah her husband actually makes um, music and so um, she mentioned in one of her videos that um, he does her music for her channel and I was like I love her music so let me reach out and see if I can get some new music for my channel and yeah he made this beat specifically for me so I hope you all enjoy it I'll also leave his contact information link down below in case you guys are interested in music for your channels he is extremely talented and I love the music he created for my channel so I did decide to go ahead and film my thumb and I want to do a full cover transfer on my thumb. So with that, you again, you'll want to just cut out the piece that you want and then place the foil onto the nail where you want it to be. And so when you're doing a full cover nail, you want to make sure that you really try to um, lay the foil as flat as possible. So I typically go up and down first, then I'll go side to side and just try to smooth it out as best I can. I used to cut the corners. But I found that it really didn't make that big of a difference on how it transferred. And y'all know me, I'm about doing the least amount of work. You want to make sure you really get close to the edge as well. And make sure every last piece of the foil is transferring. So again, when doing a full cover foil transfer on a nail, you want to make sure you get as close as possible to those edges and just keep on rubbing. Um, almost until like the foil kind of curves around the side of the nail a little bit. That's going to make sure you get a perfect flawless transfer. Yeah. Beautiful. That looks good to me. 
Yes, y'all, this is lovely. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply top coat to all the nails that I'm gonna cure. I am also gonna go in with a little bit of cuticle bling on all the nails. Okay, happy people, so now I'm going in with the Beatles Rhinestone Glue. I've really been loving that to adhere my rhinestones. Now I have my bling and my Model Wands top coat. That's what I'm gonna be going in with to um, seal the rhinestones into place. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and apply them at the cuticle area. Um, I'm just using various size rhinestones and applying them at the cuticle. And yeah, I'm gonna let you all finish watching me do that. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails are looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply them to my hands and we'll get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, okay, so my honest thoughts on this set is, I, you know, I like that the foils transferred properly, but I don't know, do I have too much going on on my nails, y'all? I feel like it might be a bit much. Um, but I do think she cute though, you know? Um, so these are the tribal nails that I have done for Black History Month. I hope you all like them. The, it, the set's growing on me, okay? I think it's cute, I think it's beautiful, I think it's colorful, you know, just in time for summer. I think it's cute and different. So yes, y'all. Oh, and another tip too, when you guys are done with your excess foils, I do keep a little container here that I put all my extra foil sheets in. I don't actually throw them away because I feel like I can still use them for something else. So so all of my extra foil sheets I do just kind of toss right on up in here. Final thoughts on Beatles gel polishes. You guys already know Beatles is bae for me. I absolutely love all things Beatles, so this kit is not any different. Um, I did check right before, I did check, and I think now the kit did go back up to regular price. So um, yeah, you guys, definitely make sure you stay tuned, um, not only to my community tab, because that's where I kind of um, announce the deals, but I actually very frequently update my Amazon storefront, particularly my section that's called Rose's Amazon Deals. So if you all are just, you know randomly wanting to look for some good discounted nail supplies go on my amazon storefront i do update that weekly as well so yeah love me some beetles and then my thoughts on these model ones top coat and base coat is i like the base coat and i do like the top coat the only thing about the top coat is that it does have a weird smell it has like a chemical smell but as y'all can see it's really glossy and really pretty so yeah y'all i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye